We have a couple more interviews before we get to them. We have the awesome Jamie from Day One Advertising, one of my friends, someone who works with our practice, helping us bring in the patients that we want to see. So Jamie, share with us what you do and how you help dentists. Thanks, Paul, for having me on today. My name's Jamie DeBeese, and I'm the uh, owner and chief strategist at Day One. We are a marketing agency that is focused exclusively on helping dentists to grow their practices by bringing in new patients. And uh, we do that a variety of ways, whether it's website development, search engine optimization, paid ads, social media, whatever uh, is necessary for your practice in your area and whatever stage of evolution you are in your practice, we meet you there and we help you bring to the next level and help you grow your practice. And I wish, Jamie, that you were, we were in New York City at the Greater New York at an after you know, dinner, having a real beer somewhere, but we can't do that right now. But I'm talking about relationships and how you build relationships even virtually, and you know our practice. So what is, you know, when you have a new patient, you have to build a relationship with them before they can do a big case. What are some of the things that new clients are coming to you with? What challenges, what pain points, how do you direct them in a way to get the patients that they want to see? That's a great question. Uh, we are often in the situation of working with dentists who uh, are at some level of transition. Typically, it's they uh, are nearing that uh, horizon where they want to retire and they're looking to bring on an associate and they've successfully built their practice for a one person practice or one dentist practice. And now they're looking to figure out how do I bring on an associate part time, full time. And so that's going to require, in many cases, a very comprehensive marketing plan to add another 20 or so new patients, 30 new patients per month. We also come across situations where dentists are just completely and utterly frustrated with trying to do things on their own. Marketing, you know, some people get it. Some people are fantastic at doing marketing for their own practice. They just understand it. It just becomes natural. And then there are the people that uh, DIY it themselves. <laughs> You've been talking all about all this DIY dentistry. You know, there are some people that DIY marketing and they fail miserably time and time again. And they're just frustrated and they really kind of blame it on, you know, marketing doesn't work. But really, it's just coming down to there's, th there's certain key principles that maybe people are yeah, missing. And, so we come and alongside them and help them out. I, I appreciate you sharing it, Jim, because marketing is such a key piece. They definitely don't talk about that in dental school. That's your mind decision. I've been sharing a case I did in 2008 when I did a pay-per-click campaign, which was a big deal back then, because I said, I want to bring in these implant patients. And now we have all different ways through Facebook, Google, mm -hmm. Instagram to use videos, share your story. You help our practice, Jamie. I really appreciate it. Share in an evergreen way because, you know, when 50 million people do watch this over the next 20 years, I want to remember how they can reach out to you. So while we have your great text code, so you can get a complimentary consult with Jamie, and we'll drop your calendar link in the chat. Uh, how can people reach out to you directly through your website or email? Sure. The best way to get in touch with me is uh, through website, uh, dentalmarketingdoneright.com forward slash nachos, dentalmarketingdoneright.com forward slash nachos. We have a special page set up for all of our right. nacho friends. Uh, fill that out and you'll get in touch with me. It comes right to my email and I'll uh, be able to schedule a time with you. That's my whole goal. Everything just named after nachos, Jamie. That's my whole, my whole thing here. So thanks for being so great. We appreciate it. Enjoy the extravaganza, share in the chat and thanks for being part of this. Thanks, Paul.